You're watching FE exam prep with Anthony Fasano from Pass the FE exam. In this video, I'm going to solve a mathematics problem similar to one you might encounter during the FE exam to give you a better understanding of what you can expect during the actual exam. This Pass the FE exam video and question are brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. Which of the following expressions is equal to the angle between two planes whose normals are given by V1 and V2? And then you have four options, A, B, C, or D. Now, if you're anything like me, when I first read this question, I was like, how on earth am I going to figure this question out? So firstly, I'm going to sketch it out for you because I think you need to sketch it out to get a feel for what this means. Then I'll read the theoretical, the actual answer which is tough to understand. And then I'll kind of give you a practical solution that I use to try to figure this out. Now, before we move forward, one thing that you should be aware of is whenever you hear a normal, something normal is perpendicular. So keep that in mind for this problem and other problems. In this case, they're referring to the vectors being normal or perpendicular to the planes, which I'm going to show you now. So essentially, I sketch this out on my own on a piece of paper, and uh, you should do the same in your exam. You know, always sketching things out is helpful. Right, so here's one plane, here's the second plane, and here's the angle between them theta. And here are the normal vectors. Okay, so this is the vector that's parallel to the, the lower plane, and then you have the vector that's perpendicular to the upper plane, and the angle between them is also theta, so it's the same. And we essentially want to figure out the expression to solve what that angle is. So now I'm going to read to you kind of the theoretical answer to the problem. For the two vectors v1 and v2, where the angle between the two is from 0 to pi over 2, where v1 times v2, which is often referred to as the dot product, equals the magnitude of v1, v2. That's what that's called when they're both in brackets like that. Cosine the angle. And that's the angle between the two vectors. Since the angle between the vectors normal to the planes is the same as the angle between the planes Solving for the angle gives you that is your answer, All right? So I'm using theta. I guess they're using a different, they're using alpha, but it doesn't matter. That's the same angle that we're going after here. Okay, so now let me show you how I solve this problem. Taking a look at my sketch here, right? And going after the angle, right, that we want. I opened up the reference manual, the PDF, the FE reference manual, and I typed the word normal. And that was not a good decision because there was a million things that came up and none of them were helpful. So then I typed the word plane, same thing, too many, too many options. Then I typed the word vectors. And the first thing that came up was a little sketch like this, C, B, A, and shows like two planes and there's the angle, it shows theta. And then they show right below it that that angle theta or an equation related to it is the magnitude of A, B, the vectors times the cosine of theta equals the dot product of the two vectors. So if you wanted to solve for theta, you can reconfigure this and come up with the arc cosine, the dot product of the two over the magnitude of the two. Now, if you go to our solution, and again, you can see I carried this over the next page, which one of these looks like that? Well, there's only two R cosine. And this is it right here, the dot product of the vectors over the magnitude of the vectors. And that's your answer. So the reason that I wanted to show you this problem, I know that it's not great for a video, 
But again, I want to show you that it's so important to think through these problems, sketch it out, understand what you're looking for, and you have to know how to search and where to go in the reference handbook. That means everything to you. And when you're studying, you really need to practice that. Which terms that you search gets you to your answers fastest, because that's how you're going to pass the FE exam. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve an ethics problem similar to one you might encounter during the FE exam. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below that I will read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a problem you need help solving. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam. Thank you.